Welcome to the global defense battle. The Lockheed C-130 Hercules is a military transport aircraft from the United States, built by Lockheed Martin. It first flew on August 23, 1954, and was introduced into service in December 1956. The C-130 was designed to replace older transports like the C-47 Skitran. Its main role is tactical airlift, meaning it moves troops and equipment within combat zones. The aircraft can operate from rough, unpaved runways, making it versatile for various missions. On the other hand, the Airbus A400M Atlas is a European military transport aircraft developed by Airbus Defense and Space. Its maiden flight was on December 11, 2009, and it entered service in 2013. The A400M was created to replace older transports like the Transall C-160 and the C-130 Hercules. It serves both tactical and strategic airlift roles, capable of carrying heavier loads than the C-130 and operating from short, unprepared airstrips. And today, we will compare both of these aircrafts, United States C-130, Hercules versus European Airbus A4000M Atlas. So, let's start. As always, talking about the design and dimensions first, the Lockheed C-130 Hercules features a high-wing design with straight, unswept wings, allowing for stable low-speed flight and operations from short, unprepared runways. Its tail is a conventional T-tail configuration, where the horizontal stabilizer is mounted atop the vertical fin, enhancing control during takeoff and landing. The fuselage is boxy and robust, optimized for cargo space and durability. The C-130 measures approximately 29.8 meters in length, has a wingspan of 40.4 meters, and stands about 11.4 meters tall. Its empty weight is around 34,702 kilograms, with a maximum takeoff weight of 79,380 kilograms. On the other hand, the Airbus A400M Atlas also employs a high wing design, but with slightly swept wings, improving aerodynamic efficiency at higher speeds. Its tail design is similar to the C-130, featuring a T-tail configuration. The fuselage is larger and more streamlined, accommodating bigger and heavier cargo. The A400M is notably larger, with a length of 45.1 meters, a wingspan of 42.4 meters, and a height of 14.7 meters. It has an empty weight of about 70,000 kilograms and an MTOW of 141,000 kilograms. Overall, the A400M Atlas is significantly larger and heavier than the C-130 Hercules. Coming to the engine and power, the Lockheed C-130 Hercules is powered by four Rolls-Royce AE2, 1100 D3 turboprop engines, each producing 4,700 horsepower. These engines drive six-bladed composite propellers, enhancing performance and fuel efficiency. The C-130J model has a maximum cruising speed of approximately 417 miles per hour at an altitude of 22,000 feet. It can fly up to 2,360 miles without refueling and operates at a service ceiling of 33,000 feet. On the other hand, the Airbus A400M Atlas utilizes four Europrop International TP400D6 turboprop engines, each delivering 11,000 shaft horsepower. These powerful engines enable a maximum cruising speed of about 460 miles per hour and allow the aircraft to reach altitudes up to 40,000 feet. The A400M has a range of approximately 4,100 nautical miles without refueling. Overall, the A400M Atlas outperforms the C-130 Hercules in several key areas. It offers a higher cruising speed, greater range, and the ability to operate at higher altitudes. Let's talk about the payload capacity of each aircraft. The Lockheed C-130 Hercules has a maximum payload capacity of approximately 19,090 kilograms. Its cargo bay measures about 12.5 meters in length, 3.12 meters in width, and 2.74 meters in height. This space allows the C-130 to transport various types of cargo, including military vehicles, equipment, and personnel. The aircraft can accommodate up to 92 combat troops or 64 paratroopers. It features a rear loading ramp, which facilitates straightforward loading and unloading operations, especially in austere environments. On the other hand, the Airbus A400M Atlas boasts a higher maximum payload capacity of up to 37,000 kilograms. Its cargo hold is larger, measuring approximately 17.71 meters in length, 4 meters in width, and 3.85 meters in height. This spacious interior enables the A400M to carry heavy and oversized items, such as helicopters, armored vehicles, and large machinery. The aircraft can transport up to 116 fully equipped troops and is equipped with a rear loading ramp, enhancing its capability to load and unload cargo efficiently, even on unprepared airstrips. 
Overall, while both aircraft are equipped with rear loading ramps that enhance their loading and unloading capabilities, the A400M Atlas offers a significantly larger cargo bay and higher payload capacity compared to the C-130 Hercules. Talking about the cockpit design, the Lockheed C-130J Super Hercules features a modernized cockpit design to enhance pilot efficiency and situational awareness. It includes an advanced two-pilot flight station with fully integrated digital avionics, color multifunctional liquid crystal displays, and head-up displays for both pilots. The avionics suite comprises a dual inertial navigation system coupled with GPS, a digital autopilot, low-power color radar, and a digital moving map display. These systems collectively improve navigation accuracy, flight safety, and mission effectiveness. On the other hand, the Airbus A400M Atlas is equipped with a state-of-the-art glass cockpit that is fully night vision compatible, accommodating two pilots and an additional crew member for special mission equipment operations. It features eight large interchangeable liquid crystal displays, providing primary flight information, navigation data, and system monitoring. The aircraft employs a fly-by-wire flight control system with side stick controllers, offering flight envelope protection and reducing pilot workload. The avionics suite includes advanced communication systems, a comprehensive defensive aid subsystem, and a forward-looking infrared enhanced vision system, EVS, to improve situational awareness in low visibility conditions. Overall, both aircraft boast advanced avionics designed to enhance mission effectiveness and flight safety. Regarding type of operations performed by each aircraft, the Lockheed C-130 Hercules can be configured for various critical missions, including medical evacuation. Its medevac configuration can support up to 74 litter patients, with built-in electrical and oxygen systems to power life support devices and medical equipment during flights. For special operations, the C-130 excels in missions requiring infiltration and exfiltration of troops, thanks to its ability to operate on rough, unprepared runways. Its versatility also extends to airdrop missions, where it can airdrop troops, supplies, and equipment weighing up to 42,000 pounds into combat zones or disaster-affected areas. These features make it ideal for tactical missions requiring speed, flexibility, and reliability. On the other hand, the Airbus A400M Atlas also plays a significant role in medevac missions, with customizable configurations for transporting patients requiring medical care. It offers a spacious interior, which accommodates advanced medical setups depending on mission needs. For special operations, the A400M is highly capable due to its ability to deploy special forces personnel at high altitudes, up to 38,000 feet. Its advanced landing capabilities on short or unprepared airstrips enhance its operational flexibility. The A400M is also designed for large-scale airdrop missions, capable of delivering heavier payloads and supplies over long distances. It has been widely used for humanitarian and military airlift missions globally. Overall, both aircraft are well-equipped for medevac, special operations, and airdrop missions, but the A400M offers greater flexibility due to its higher payload capacity and ability to deploy forces from higher altitudes. Coming to the cost, the Lockheed C-130 Hercules has undergone various upgrades since its inception in the 1950s. In 2000, Boeing was awarded a $1.4 billion contract to develop an avionics modernization program kit for the C-130. The program faced delays and cost overruns until it was restructured in 2007. In terms of unit cost, the C-130J model was priced at approximately $75.5 million in fiscal year 2017. Factors contributing to this cost include advanced avionics, improved engines, and enhanced performance capabilities. The estimated life cycle cost, encompassing maintenance, upgrades, and disposal, was projected to be around $28.4 billion in base year dollars for a fleet of 168 aircraft over a 30-year service life. This estimate translates to an average annual operating and support cost of $5.636 million per aircraft. On the other hand, the Airbus A400M Atlas experienced significant development challenges, leading to increased costs. Initially estimated at $21.7 billion, the program's expenses escalated by several billion dollars due to technical difficulties, particularly with its advanced turboprop engines. In 2013, France allocated $9.7 billion for 50 A400M aircraft, equating to a unit cost of approximately $200 million, or $235 million when including development expenses. The United Kingdom's provision for acquiring its A400M fleet was $3.4 billion, with an estimated whole life cost of $9.4 billion up to the planned out-of-service date. The Lockheed C-130 Hercules over 2,500 units have been produced, serving in more than 70 countries worldwide. The latest variant, 
the C-130J Super Hercules, has seen 500 deliveries to 26 operators across 22 countries as of March 2022. And the Airbus A400M Atlas represents a more recent addition to military transport fleets, with its first delivery in 2013. By January 2024, 125 out of 178 ordered units had been delivered to nine countries, including France, Germany, Spain, and the United Kingdom. In summary, the Lockheed C-130 Hercules and the Airbus A400M Atlas serve as two powerful military transport aircraft, each excelling in different areas. Both aircraft remain essential in military and humanitarian operations globally, showcasing the balance between legacy and modern innovation in air transport. Which aircraft do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.